Hello, welcome back to the channel, and today will be the preview for the Thursday night week one games, August 31st. What a great way to end the month of August with some great football. And um, we have how many games do we even have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games for you. And I've got four plays on those games, but we'll just start off going down the list. And if I have a play, I'll expand on it. So at seven o'clock on the ACC network at the LGC Federal Credit Union Stadium in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The Wake Forest Demon Deacons are hosting the Elon, whatever Elon is, which I think they're the Phoenix. Yeah, the Elon Phoenix. Now, this is going to be an interesting game for Wake Forest, the first one in the post-Sam Hartman era. I'm not even sure how Wake Forest is looking out this year, but should be an absolute beat-down bloodbath. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're going to do. Really not much to go on in this game. It'll be uh, probably your second or third best game at the slate, uh, even at the 7 o'clock slate. So uh, shout-out Wake Forest getting back on the schedule. Also at 7 o'clock, we've got on FS1, Kent State Golden Flashes traveling to the bounce house to take on the UCF Golden Knights at the FBC Mortgage Stadium in Orlando, Florida. UCF is a 37-point favorite, over 57.5. Now, Kent State, you might be like, wow, they're a really big underdog. I mean, they kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Georgia. Yeah, the problem is, is they lost 20 players in the transfer portal. Um, mind you, there's 22 starters, including special teams. You could say there's 25, really, with punter, kicker, and long snapper. So 25 starters, and you're going to lose 20 of them. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, what is that, like 80%? And um, what we have here now is uh, looking at the rest of this, we've got, you know, I think UCF kind of hangs around here and, and, and puts it on them, but 36.5 is a ton. What we've seen with the, how the rolling clock is, I, I don't have a pick on this game, but I'll just let you know that's a, it's a lot of points if I were to make me pick, making a pick. Uh, up next, we got Georgia State Panthers hosting the Rhode Island Rams in the Center Park Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. There's no line in this game, but uh, yeah, this game's happening. Not much more I could really add on it. I don't act like I can, but uh, Georgia State with the Sun Belt. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it all turns out. Then we've got uh, also at 7 o'clock ESPN Plus, along with the last games on ESPN Plus. We have the St. Francis uh, PA. Um, they are the Red Flash, and they're taking on the Western Michigan Broncos in Waldo Stadium, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, Western looks to have a, a better season this year. Um, they want to do what they can in the MAC, obviously losing uh, quite a few players in the transfer portal, as a lot of these MAC schools have. And um, look to get off a good start against a pretty bad team that's only really known for basketball. So I would imagine they don't have the greatest of things going on in terms of football. So uh, Western Michigan should roll, roll easy. Now we have the first game I have a play on here. One of the probably arguably the second best game, maybe third best game. We've got the NC State Wolfpack taking on the Yukon Huskies in the Pratt and Whitney Stadium in East Hartford, Connecticut. Yukon hosting uh, NC State. Big game here. NC State is a 15 point favorite over under 47 points. Now, what I would like to say here, okay, is I really like a big play in this game, and it's the over 47 points. Um, I, I would kind of lean uh, UConn against the spread here. Jim Mora is really doing his thing out there. And um, NC State does bring back Brent Armstrong, um, and they have their coordinator with them this year. I guess not bring back or, or um, Armstrong, bring in Armstrong. So with that, I think that the ball is going to be slinging around the field, and I think we're going to get a lot of points. I mean, I could see a, uh, what, 35-14 game. That hits. That's what we need. Uh, you know, even something less than that, you know. You could get like, I don't know, yeah, 30-17 hits it too, which is, it, it's, well, it wouldn't hit it, but we need one more. 31-17. There you go. Perfect. Pretty much the spread and kind of the over. The projection's about to be. So we get like two touchdowns out of UConn. I'm feeling pretty confident. So I like the over in that game for sure. Then we've got, um, I'll skip around. I'll leave the best game for last. We've got uh, North Dakota. Um, no, actually, South Dakota, excuse me, traveling to the Missouri Tigers. That is the South Dakota Coyotes. Um, 7.30, uh, 8 o'clock, excuse me, on SEC Network, Memorial Stadium, Farrett Field in Columbia, Missouri. Missouri, again, a lot of big wins on the recruiting trail. Now they're going to bring in a lot of uh, hopefully wins on the field, and they're going to start off here. Uh, Eli Drinkowitz is going to get the boys buzzing and, and up for this game, I'm sure, and um, they're going to look to uh, take on and take care of business against the, what is that again? I even forgot them already, the Coyotes. So I think Missouri rolls easy here. Obviously nothing to really worry about. So watch out for Missouri, though, this year. I think they could be a, a pretty big upset team this season. Um, what else do we have here? 
Uh, we've got ourselves Arkansas Pine Bluff uh, traveling to Tulsa, Oklahoma, in the uh, Chapman Stadium, the Golden Tulsa, or Tulsa Golden Hurricane, excuse me, uh, 8 o'clock ESPN+. Plus. Again, another game is going to happen, uh, just happening. North Carolina A&T uh, taking on UAB Blazers, uh, 8 o'clock ESPN+. Plus. Again, not much really going on here, just kind of listing out the games. And then the two big games here at 8 o'clock, we've got Florida traveling to Utah, number 14-ranked Utah, 6.5-point favorite Utah over under 46. I like the under in this game at 46 points. I'm betting on no cam rising. I know but this is kind of – I'm reporting a little bit out here. i got a Sunday night video recorded here. But um, I don't think rising is going to play based on everything we're seeing. And uh, Graham Mertz is not very good. I think this could be a defensive slugfest. Uh, I'm thinking like 24-21, which is – you know, some plenty of scoring, but it still hits the under for us, no problem. So that's what my play is there. And then the other game at 8 o'clock is a conference game. Nebraska, the Cornhuskers, travel to the Minnesota Golden Gophers in Huntington Bank Stadium, Minnesota, Minneapolis. And uh, Minnesota is a 7.5-point favorite over under 43.5. I like the over in this game as well. I think Jeff Sim comes in. They're going to do some do some damage here. This game last year was really good. Um, I know it, not, not between these two teams, but the opening Thursday night game, it was uh, it was Purdue. Uh, they ended up losing to Penn State at home, but the game was really good overall. So that's what I think is going to be happening right there. Um, I like the over. Again, Jeff Sims um, and uh, the new coach over there, uh, Matt Rule. I don't know why his name escaped me for a minute. They're going to be looking to put up some points, and I think Minnesota is going to be better with uh, the – Ethan Kalifmanikis, I think his name is Kalifmanikis. I think that's how you say it. The the quarterback is a little bit of an upgrade. Obviously, you know Mo Ibrahim stinks, but that means probably going to throw the ball a bit more. I mean, they lost their other running back in the portal as well, so I think they're going to be slinging it a bit more. Really good tight end. I always forget the guy's name. He's got a hyphenated name. He's really good. So watch out for him. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great, great slate there. Two TVs, hopefully, for everyone involved with uh, Florida and Nebraska. And then finally, the nightcap game, no play from me. Um, we've got Southern Utah and Arizona State. Um, the Southern Utah, really good in basketball in the big sky. Uh, shout out Rico, the Thunderbirds, and then Arizona State Sun Devils. Um, biggest news in this game, I would say, is Arizona State has a self-imposed bowl ban as of now. Um, really sucks. I think that they could probably make one, but I imagine this is tied to Herm Edwards and some shenanigans going on with him, but... It's always dumb punishing programs for things other guys did and punishing the kids now for other actions. I don't know. I just don't like it, but again, it's the NCAA. So anything that they would do that would make sense is the exact opposite of what they would do because, again, they're idiots. So um, that's pretty much all I have for now. I would say uh, you can get a big money line parlay of NC State, uh, Utah. I don't even know who else I would do in this one. Um, I mean, I guess UCF, but... I would I would I would think about maybe linking a few days together. Um, you know, Utah I think is a good play on the money line, um, and NC State as well. So uh, I maybe I guess I only have three here. I've listed on my notes. Find a huge money line parlay. I don't really see it happening. I mean, maybe if you want to get frisky, you could go Minnesota, Utah, and NC State. That'll probably get you around what minus two hundred. No, I'm probably like almost about even money. I'd imagine so probably a good little parlay right there. So. That's all I have for now. Um, I'm excited to see this Florida-Utah game. Who's starting for Utah's quarterback? If it's not Cam Rising, um, then I expect it to happen. If it is Cam Rising, this game can get ugly. I think Florida is going to get kind of exposed in this game. Who knows, though? I mean, Florida's got really good talent, really good fun game, and we can see if they can expose uh, you know, Utah's change of scenery there, but I doubt it. And I think UConn-NC State might be the f- most fun game to watch. Uh, the best game probably is going to be Florida State, U- Florida, Utah, or Nebraska, Minnesota. But that's all I have for this video. Uh, again, let me know your predictions down below. And uh, if you're going to tail me or fade me, all one unit plays right now. I think I've got one or two two unit plays this weekend, and it's probably going to happen on Sunday or Monday. So that's pretty much what I have. So let me know uh, what you think again down below. And uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.